Solar panels cost money, usually quite a lot. Yes, a solar and battery system in the UK costs around £10,000 on average. If you're watching this video, you're probably interested in switching to solar and you want to know if there's any financial assistance out there. Fortunately, we are going to rattle through all of the grants, schemes, incentives and funding options available in the UK right now. We certainly are. I'm Charlie. I'm Josh. And we are part of Sunsave. We have launched the UK's first solar subscription, Sunsave Plus. More on that later. Let's start rattling through. Number one is the government-backed Energy Company Obligation Scheme, also known as ECO. And it's now in its fourth phase, which makes it ECO4. ECO4 compels big energy suppliers to pay for improvements to energy efficiency in disadvantaged households, such as insulation, heating controls and, you guessed it, solar panels. And it's got £4 billion worth of funding. Since it began in July 2022, ECO4 has facilitated nearly half a million measures in people's homes, including helping over 25,000 households get solar panels. However, you can only get solar panels if your home is electrically heated and which improvements you can get depend on what the energy company that assesses your home recommends. Also, a measure is only valid for ECO4 if it improves your house's Energy Performance Certificate Rating or EPC Rating by at least one grade. And you can only get any ECO4 measures if you receive one of a, of a long list of benefits. You can find it on our article, uh, which is on our site, and the link is in the video description, or if you live in social housing and have an EPC rating of D or lower. However, there is still some flexibility in terms of the main requirements, because there are people out there who can still benefit from these measures who don't quite fit the main criteria. To find out if you're eligible, just visit the Ofgem website and fill in the questionnaire there. We'll put a link in the video description. And if you are eligible, the next step is to get in touch with one of those big energy suppliers that is part of the Eco4 scheme. And you can also find out who is part of the scheme on the Ofgem website. Eco4 will run until March 2026, at which point it might evolve into Eco5. Next up is the Home Upgrade Grant, or HUG, or HUG. It's a lovely acronym. It is, although it's actually only an acronym if you pronounce it HUG, otherwise it's an initialism. So NASA is an acronym, but RSPCA is initialism. Okay, thanks Josh. Uh, the HUG is a £700 government initiative that provides funding to local authorities across England to provide energy efficient improvements to homes that aren't connected to the gas grid. And that's the main difference between the Eco4 scheme and the Home Upgrade Grant. The Home Upgrade Grant is only for homes that don't use a gas boiler as their central heating system. And the range of measures available on the Home Upgrade Grant scheme is actually very similar to those of Eco4, things like insulation, heating controls, heat pumps and solar panels. The other main requirements are that you must own and live in the property that you want to improve, uh, its EPC rating cannot go above a D, and your household income must not exceed £36,000. This income threshold may change in the future and it is higher in certain areas. To apply for the Home Upgrade Grant, you'll first need to check that your local authority has any funding to hand out, as it's only available in some areas of England. So contact your council to make sure. And if you are eligible, your local authority will arrange a survey of your property to see what measures they can implement, and this might include solar panels. The Home Upgrade Grant lasts until March 2025. Number three is a solar panel loan. Yes, this one doesn't involve any financial assistance from the government, though as you can probably tell at this point, the government gives limited financial assistance and what it does give is tied up in a set of pretty stringent requirements. Yeah, with a solar panel loan, you're reducing the upfront cost of the system and instead spreading it out across a period of time, usually a number of years. Uh, you will typically pay monthly payments, uh, usually with some interest added on top of that. Every solar panel loan comes with its own unique set of requirements, so you'll have to contact the provider of that loan to find out if you're eligible. And this is an excellent time to talk about solar subscriptions. Yes, we have launched Sunsave Plus, which is the UK's first solar subscription. In some ways, it's similar to a traditional solar panel loan, but in other ways, it's pretty different. With Sunsave Plus, you can go solar with no upfront cost. You'll pay fixed monthly payments across 20 years, and they do stay fixed, which is a great protection against energy bill inflation. And your best-in-class solar and battery system will also be protected by the Sunsave Guarantee, which is designed to give you total peace of mind that you'll have a reliable source of clean green power for the full term of your subscription without you having to lift a finger. Yes, the Sunsave Guarantee provides 24-7 monitoring and maintenance, free replacement parts, including your battery and inverter, downtime cover and insurance provided by Aviva. 
And according to technical experts in the industry, a solar and battery system has a 15% chance of requiring maintenance every year across a 20 year period. So we know this support is important. And in many cases with SunSafe Plus, it's possible for your combined energy bill savings and export income to exceed your monthly payments to SunSafe. So you'll actually end up with more money in your pocket every month. We've also designed SunSafe Plus with complete flexibility in mind, which means you're able to make a partial or full early repayment without having to pay any fees or penalties. If you make a partial early repayment, it would shorten your subscription term. And if you make a full early repayment, it would end your subscription term. Finally, SunSafe Plus does not require a roof lease. That means you'll legally own your panels and battery from day one, and you'll get to keep all of the export income that you get, which means we don't take a cut. Yeah. To learn more about Sunsafe Plus and to sign up, head to our website, sunsafe.energy. The link is also in the description of our video. Next up is Green Home Rewards. Yes, some banks absolutely love the idea of you having a green home and they want to thank you for it. That's true. Banks all have their own environmental targets, so the more eco-friendly their housing stock is, the better for them. Green Home Rewards are basically cashback schemes offered by banks to their own mortgage customers, and there are some pretty major high street banks currently offering these schemes, including Barclays, Halifax, and Lloyds. If you've got a mortgage with one of these banks, all you need to do is sign up for the relevant scheme, get a qualifying energy efficient improvement, and then you'll receive your payment. Currently, you'll only earn somewhere between £250 and £2,000, although this depends on the home improvements you make and the bank you're with. The home improvements that usually qualify include solar panels, heat pumps, double glazing and loft insulation. And with Green Home Rewards currently only paying up to £2,000, it's not exactly going to cover the cost of going solar, in fact it will come nowhere near, but it will certainly put a dent in the price you pay. If you hate paying VAT on stuff, you'll love the 0% VAT rate on solar panels and batteries, which currently applies to the hardware as well as the installation. This is easily the most accessible incentive on our list as it applies to absolutely everyone who switches to solar. Regardless of how you buy your panels and battery and regardless of who you buy it from, you will get the discount. The 0% VAT rate started in April 2022 and it'll last until April 2027. The scheme also expanded in February 2024 to include loan storage batteries. So that means people who want to get a battery without solar panels can still benefit. Although from a financial perspective, we would not recommend just getting a battery on its own. If you like doing things with your neighbours and you find the idea of switching to solar on your own a bit daunting, it's time you heard about Solar Together. Solar Together is a company that helps communities buy solar as one big group instead of individual households operating alone. And in theory, this helps people buy solar at a lower price than the average market rate. Solar Together works with local councils all over the country to run group buying schemes. So check online to see if there's one running in your neighbourhood. Once enough people have registered their interest, Solar Together then sets up an auction and invites local installers to put in offers for how much they will charge for the work. And naturally, the lowest bidder wins, though Solar Together is careful about who they partner with, so they won't just pick a lowest bidder if they don't meet certain requirements. It's free to register for Solar Together and there's no obligation to proceed once you're offered a final quote. However, even with a discount, you'll still pay a lot of money up front for your solar panels. Yes, for example, on the Essex County Council webpage for their Solar Together scheme in 2024, they say that you'll get a minimum 25% saving. However, if a system costs around £10,000, a 25% discount, taking it down to £7,500, would still be pretty unmanageable for a lot of households. That's true, and it's not a great solution if you're looking for a quick switch to solar. Due to the scale of the installations and the planning permission involved, you could be waiting a fair few months before you get to your installation day. Solar Together is definitely worth investigating if you're wanting to switch to solar, but if you want to completely swerve the high upfront cost, it's not really an option. This next incentive is probably the most well-known on our list, and that is the Smart Export Guarantee, or SEG. This one is very important. So the SEG doesn't make it cheaper to buy solar panels, but it is a huge part of the financial incentive of having solar panels. It was set up by the government in January 2020 as the successor to the feed-in tariff, which you may have also heard of. The SEG ensures that all energy suppliers with at least 150,000 customers must pay households for all the excess electricity that they send to the grid. The SEG tariff that you sign up for does not necessarily have to be the one offered by your energy supplier. So for instance, you could be a customer of British Gas and export your electricity to Ovo Energy. However, the best SEG tariffs offered by suppliers are typically only available to their own customers. The SEG tariff landscape has changed considerably since 2020 and it's now better than ever. Suppliers are paying generous rates, customers have more choices than ever before, and there are even smart export tariffs
where companies will take control of your battery to ensure that you make the most money possible. Roughly speaking, the income you'll receive from exporting your excess electricity to the grid is about 30% of the total financial benefit of having solar panels. The actual amount that you will earn from an SUG tariff depends on a bunch of factors, including the location of your home, the size of your system, the tariff you sign up for, and how much electricity you consume at home. One of the key requirements to be eligible for an SUG tariff is a smart meter. This means it can record how much electricity you're exporting so you get paid fairly. Fortunately, you can get a smart meter installed for free. Just get in touch with your energy supplier. Another key requirement of all SEG tariffs is that your solar panel system doesn't exceed five megawatts in size, although it would be absolutely bonkers if it did. Some of the best SEG tariffs also require you to have a battery, such as Intelligent Oxbus Flux, which is one of the top rates on the market right now. Speaking of the top rates on the market, click the link in our description to check out our rundown. It's the penultimate entry on our list, and we're going to Wales. Yes, if you're watching this from the land of song, you might be able to benefit from the Welsh Government's Warm Homes programme. If that doesn't ring a bell, this is the new iteration of the Welsh Government's Warm Home Nest Scheme. And if Warm Home Nest Scheme doesn't ring a bell, that's also fine. It's been set up to fund the full cost of energy efficiency improvements in Wales, including insulation, solar panels and heat pumps. And it's been very popular. Between 2011 and 2024, the scheme spent £440 million on 77,000 homes and solar panel installations made up 18% of these measures. To qualify for the Warm Homes programme, you need to live in Wales, own or privately rent your home, and your home needs to have an EPC rating that is no higher than an E. There are certain exceptions to this rule and you can read those on the website and we will include the link to that in the video description. You also need to live in a low-income household or receive one of the qualifying means-tested benefits. To understand the scheme's threshold for low income or to see what benefits are included, head to their website. Their website also has the number you have to call to start your application. The Warm Homes programme is expected to last until at least 2032, so they'll be supporting Wales for a long time. And last on our list is power purchase agreements for social housing. The main reason we put this at the very end of our list is because it's not something that you can directly apply for. This is basically when companies have agreements with social housing providers to put solar panels on the rooftops of council houses or flats. Residents don't need to pay for the panels and they can buy the electricity that the panels produce at a much cheaper rate than they would pay if they were buying from the grid. And if there's any excess electricity that the residents don't use, this is exported to the grid, but all the income that generates goes to the company who installed the panels. It might seem like the residents are being shortchanged here because they're not receiving any of the export income, However, they're still benefiting because they don't have to pay for the solar panels and they get a reduced rate on their electricity. And meanwhile, the company who installed the panels is earning money by selling electricity to the residents and earning export income. So it's a win-win. We've seen these kind of arrangements pop up occasionally around the UK, such as in Portsmouth in 2016, London in 2020 and Newport in 2021. And as we said before, this isn't something that you can apply for. It's just something that might happen to you. And if it does, great. It just means you'll get reduced electricity bills. And there's no harm in contacting your social housing provider to see if they can work on this kind of arrangement. So there you have it. That is the rundown of the nine main grants, schemes and incentives for solar panels today in the UK. If you still want to avoid the high upfront cost of going solar, but you don't think you'll qualify for any of the schemes we've talked about today, you should consider SunSafe Plus. Yeah, as we mentioned before, this is the UK's first solar subscription. It means you can switch to solar with no upfront costs and instead you'll pay a fixed monthly fee for 20 years. And your system will also be protected by the SunSafe Guarantee, which includes all the stuff that we talked about earlier. To learn more about SunSafe Plus, the SunSafe Guarantee or solar in general, head to our website, sunsafe.energy. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more wonderful videos about the cracking world of solar energy. Farewell.